This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. This lesson is part of the Express course and part of Course E. In the Express course, it's Lesson 21. In Course E, it's Lesson 16, Functions with the Harvester Puzzle 7. Did you notice that there was a lot of repeated code in that last puzzle? We can save space by calling that code pick along path and using a new function to call the other functions. Use pick along path to solve this puzzle again using fewer blocks. Oh, oh, cool. Okay, so now, and this is the great thing about functions, we can save some time by doing something like this pick along path. Okay, cool. Let's do less there. Great. And what this will do is repeatedly get pumpkins, check square for corn, repeat until there are pumpkins, get corn, move forward, then get all pumpkins. Oh, we're having a function call another function. So get all pumpkins because once repeat until there are pumpkins, as long as there is not pumpkins, we're going to check the square for corn and move forward. If there are pumpkins, this loop stops. So we would stop repeating this, we would drop below, we'd run get all pumpkins. And the computer would look around for that function. What does get all pumpkins do while there are pumpkins? So this loops until there are no pumpkins. Cool, one function calls or uses another. Okay, that's going to be handy on this. So now we can um so pick along the path Do we go forward? Oh, we do go forward in this. Oh, that's super nice. So I don't even need to say to go forward. I'm just going to say, all right, start picking. That should take us to here because we're going to repeat until we're at a pumpkin, which is here, right? So it will run this code. We're going to check each square for cord. Then we're going to move forward. Check each square for cord runs this. Oh, it call it has two function calls. And so each square, we're going to say, hey, is there cord? If so, pick it, right? And if there's not, we'll skip the pick, hit the bottom, we'll move forward, we'll then check if there's pumpkins. If there's not pumpkins, this loop stops running, we stop moving forward, we stop checking, we then drop below, run, get all pumpkins, get all pumpkins, and we keep picking pumpkins as long as there's pumpkins. So we should end up here just from running that. Let's try. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, and then what do we want to do? Less. Then we're going to want to turn left and then move forward twice and then turn left again. And then once we're facing this way, this is going to be the same thing as this, right? So we just want to get to that pumpkin. So we're going to say pick along the path, which runs this, which will also run that and that and move us all the way forward to the pumpkin. And then once we're at the pumpkin, we need to move forward, turn right, yep, turn right, and then we want to pick along the path again. Oh, that's so nice. So much less complicated, right? Because a lot of the work of the code is here. Really, we're just moving forward and turning. And then other than that, we're running the functions over here. And it's clear what's happening because pick along the path. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, I'm picking everything along the path. If we want more info, that's how that's working. And this is what's super nice about functions is it can also clarify code. You're naming what these chunks of codes are doing so it's easier to understand. All right, let's try it all. You see it all running here, going through all of our functions, all of our code. Oh, wow. Oh, that's super awesome. Great, let's keep going. 